before you even ask for a styling video, the answer is no. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi. Truth be told, all this stuff that I'm about to show you, I didn't need none of it, but that's neither here nor there. Before I show you a single thing that I picked up recently, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. For your reference, I'll make sure I have every single thing I mentioned today listed down below in the description box. First off, Shout out to Boohoo for gifting me with all of this stuff that I'm about to show you all today. Those of you who follow me here, but especially on Instagram, know that I was born and raised in a church. I literally been in church all of my life. While I do identify myself as somewhat of a church girl, I like to be cute, you know what I'm saying? And I have been shopping at Boohoo for years. Boohoo has been clutch for me for super cute, unique, and affordable clothing for a very long time. So when this gifting opportunity came about, I jumped on it, okay? Of course, I'll insert a clip of me actually trying it on as well. So the first thing I picked up are these slides from Boohoo. I grabbed these up because I need some new slides. My Nike slides are worn down and I just wanted something that was gonna be comfortable and it could go with everything. So I picked these up. I'm typically a size eight or eight and a half. These only come in whole sizes, I believe. So I got these in a nine just to make sure my heel wasn't hanging off one. Not to mention sometimes I do like to wear my slides around the house with socks on so I wanted to make sure I was going to have enough room to do that. Now I know Boohoo sells all types of clothes, shoes, and accessories but I had no idea that they had hair tools as well so when I saw this on the website I was like oh I'm going to need that especially for when I get a silk press. I picked up these fabulous thermo ceramic rollers. When my hair starts getting old and losing a bit of its volume, I can throw these in the top or even all over my head and just kind of refresh the soap press. I actually used to use some Conair ones like this years and years ago when I was relaxed. So I already anticipate that this is going to be eons better. So I cannot wait to try these. Next, because I am the loungewear queen, I actually picked up these cozy little shorts to wear around the house. As someone who has invested in skims before, I have to say that this is pretty comparable and way less expensive. These feel super, super soft. I am a little bit thick down the bottom, so I got these in a large, but I didn't want them to be oversized. So these are gonna be some cute little shorts to wear around the house once the weather starts to break. Next, again, because I am the loungewear queen, I picked up this cute little set. It comes with a bodysuit that is sleeveless like this and it's a thong in the back so we don't have to worry about panty lines. Love that for me. Obviously y'all won't see that part when they try on. But it also comes with a matching pair of joggers. Listen, if you know me in real life, you know how I love me a good jogger, sweatpants, sweatshirt, like that's my jam. And it also comes with a matching hoodie and it's a zip up hoodie. This set I actually sized down on just because I wanted to make sure one that the bodysuit had good support for the girls and two the sweats portion looked oversized on the model so I wanted it to be oversized but I didn't want to be swimming in it per se so can't wait to wear these. Also picked up this super cute letterman jacket. This is a vibe okay i guess the b was just gonna have to stand for baltimore it's giving senior year where i'm the popular cheerleader and my boyfriend is the captain of the football team like it's giving okay this feels like it's gonna be a great transition piece for when it's like cool but not super super cold so can't wait to wear this this fall and last but not least i picked up this graphic t-shirt. Y'all already know how I feel about graphic t-shirts. This is one that has the late great DMX on it and I just could not pass this up. I had to have it. I like my graphic tees to be oversized. So I got this from the men's section in a medium and uh, I just, I love this. This is probably my favorite graphic tee of the options they have for DMX. So that is everything that was gifted to me through Boohoo. Shout out and special thanks to Boohoo for gifting me with all of these goodies. Let's go ahead and jump into the other foolishness that I bought that I don't need. I mentioned this in a vlog that you all likely haven't seen yet. You'll probably see it next week or the week after. I am just not in the best mental headspace, to be honest with you. Mentally, I just haven't been at 100%. And when I'm not really at 100%, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna shop. So for retail therapy purposes, I took myself 
on a Sephora shopping trip. Let's go ahead and dive into that. First thing that I picked up is a little beat up, but never mind that. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skincare Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. And I got this because, as I mentioned previously in the video, my skin is not where it needs to be. This is what the jar looks like. And I picked this up because of Sean Garrett, who is my skincare guru. He is a beautiful chocolate man. He was live on Instagram one day and recommended this for helping to treat breakouts and all that stuff. Stuff, so I swiftly added this to my Sephora cart. This actually has 10% maximum strength sulfur to help drying out pimples and clearing up acne. I've been using this for the last couple of weeks and it has definitely been helping me dry out my breakouts. I've been using this maybe twice a week just because I don't want to overdo it. One more move with skincare and you'll be looking like... <laughs> So yes, I've really been enjoying this. Another Sean Garrett recommendation is this Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. And I usually use my Mario Badescu rose water. Estheticians, at least the ones that I follow, are very much against the Mario Badescu rose water. So I picked this up. This is what the bottle looks like. And as you can see, I've already been using this. This does have hyaluronic acid in it. So after toning and applying serum, I typically go in with this just so that way I'm layering hydration and we can age gracefully and not like an avocado. It's a really lightweight mist, so it doesn't feel oily or greasy, but my skin definitely feels nice and plump. And hydrated after using it so really been enjoying this as well this next product i added to my sephora wish list after casey Aaliyah mentioned it on her instagram story and this is the glow recipe watermelon glow hyaluronic clay pore tight facial this clay mask obviously has hyaluronic acid in it because we are trying to stay plump and moisturized as we age. It does come with this cute little spatula. That way you don't contaminate the mask with any of your germs. I have been using this for the last couple of weeks as well. And every time I use it, I make sure that it's not on an exfoliating day, but it still kind of burns my skin a little bit, like a stinging, tingling sensation. And I don't really know what to make of it. I'm gonna keep using it unless I start seeing some actual and severe irritation from it. So I'll report back with you all later on about that whether it be in an empties or in a vlog next i picked up two new toners because i am running low this is the ordinary glycolic acid seven percent toning solution i picked this up because of my good sis denise adore here on youtube make sure you follow her for all your skincare needs so that way you can stop aging like a banana this is what the bottle looks like a pretty substantial amount of toner if you ask me it also comes with this little nozzle as well in case you want to use that instead of pouring it on your cotton round or in your hands I typically use this after cleansing and it does recommend using it at night which I've done I've only used the toner a couple of times but so far I've really been enjoying it it doesn't burn or irritate my skin and it definitely helps remove any excess oil dirt makeup and stuff like that bottom line is that these adore uses it so I'm gonna use it I also picked up this Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer it's not gonna focus because the box is white but this is a two-in-one and this is what the bottle looks like I have been obviously wearing this out pretty much daily since I got it the last couple of weeks it takes the slightest bit it helps me tone and moisturize all in one especially on those lazy evenings where I just want to wash my face and go to bed this is marketed for normal to dry skin I do consider myself dry skin although I do get a bit oily in my t-zone also lightweight to where it's going to give me the hydration and moisture without making me feel greasy and oily it just makes me feel supple and plump and we love to see it so this is this is wonderful. Next, I actually have another affordable skincare product. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm, which I have never tried before. I actually picked this up because it's super affordable and I think Denise recommended this to me as well. This is what the Oat Cleansing Balm's packaging looks like. And I've only tried this once. This is really, really thick, almost like a Vaseline of sorts. Not my favorite consistency of cleansing balm. I personally prefer a more loose texture cleansing balm, but this was only like $8. But based on first impressions it understands the assignment and I'll definitely be using it up now that I'm thinking about it this next product is actually going to be completely contradictory to that whole double cleanse method that I just mentioned but these were on sale you know I'm saying these are the one size makeup remover wipes from Patrick Star. I've heard good reviews about them and they were on sale so I thought I'd go ahead and give them a try because retail therapy I actually haven't tried those yet but I'll definitely report back in either an empties or a vlog later on lastly from 
Sephora, I have two lip products. You all ask me about my lippies pretty much every video. This first product I want to mention, I've actually tried out and worn in a couple of videos. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Lip Gloss. This one is actually in the shade Fenty Glow number two. A really cute, simple, sheer, mauve tone kind of gloss. It's great to throw on by itself, but I also love to wear it with a brown lip liner as well. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be pissed buying these Fenty lip glosses, but they are definitely worth the money. They smell delicious and they leave my lips feeling nice and plump, so love to see it and lastly this product i actually picked up because of sierra williams and are now here on youtube and this is this is a little bougie this is the dior addict lip glow oil actually got this in the shade mahogany which is like a brown obviously a lip oil so it's probably not going to have a lot of pigment to it but this is this is it's giving I have to see what it's like. I just want to put this on my lips because this is Dior and I don't want to waste it. This top one is what the Dior lip oil looks like. It's a pretty thick formula and it has an ever so slight tint to it. Obviously it's still going to be sheer but I enjoy. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. This is going right in my bag honey. Last but not least I actually had some hair products sent to me from this brand called Vegamore, which is a vegan hair care brand. So first up from Vegamore, I have this Grow Hair Serum, which looks like that. Super cute packaging. Although I know y'all are not on the oils and butters train right now. I am, so I'll definitely be trying this out. This has ingredients such as glycerin, caffeine, and biotin. I'll probably try this out when my hair is straightened because it looks like a really lightweight serum and it seems to be really concentrated just because it's such a small amount. So when I try this, I'll definitely report that. Also from Vegamore I have this Grow Dry Shampoo which claims to restore, retain, and renew the hair. I'll definitely be giving this a try probably when I straighten my hair or if I get my hair braided again because dry shampoo when my hair was braided was clutch AF. So I'll definitely be trying this out and reporting back to you as well. Last but not least, this is the product that I was most excited for. These are the biotin gummies for hair also from Vegamore. Come on focus. Thank you so much. These are vegan, cruelty free, and hormone free. Ooh, I like this packaging as well too. Really luxe. Looking at the ingredients, it definitely looks like it has some multivitamin properties as well and not just benefits for the hair. Try it. Make sure the thing is sealed. We love to see it because Corona. These are what the gummies look like. So I'll definitely be trying these out and seeing if they actually work. I'll definitely report back, probably coming up in a later vlog. So that about wraps up today's super random collective haul. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And if you would like to pick up any single thing that I mentioned here today, please be sure to check the description box and I'll probably pin a comment as well. So that way you can easily find everything that I mentioned here today. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like share and subscribe thank you so 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 much for watching please please be safe and i'll catch you in the next one